confident it's difficult not to derive a certain wry amusement from the way in which those in this chamber who are loudest in their condemnation of colonialism and imperialism are quite happy to sign up to precisely that ideology when it's the European Union pushing causes which they happen to favour anti-discrimination or more access to contraception or local federations on a multinational model in mimicry of the EU or whatever it is. Just two questions. First of all, given what's happening in Europe, do you really think we have this money? And secondly, if you look at it from the point of view of the peoples in those more waxing and virile countries, when they cast their eyes at this cramped and declining customs union, why do you think they should take our advice on any subject?